Hello and welcome to the Girl That Went For It podcast. I'm your host, Johanna Scholz, also known as Johanna Lian on Instagram and author of Believe in Life, How to Dance in the Rain. If you want to live your dream life and become the best version of yourself, then this podcast is for you. I hope that I can inspire and encourage you to never give up and to always believe in yourself. Feel free to follow me on Instagram, Johanna underscore Liana for daily content. And now enjoy this episode. We are in December, the last month of the year. I don't feel like December, but that's probably because I will never get used to Christmas and summer. I just want to say summer and Christmas, Christmas and summer. It's my fifth Christmas now in New Zealand and I still am not used to it. You know how you have a certain picture in your head to a certain month so for example for December I mean I feel like I'm at this stage where I'm transitioning <laughs> to um, Christmas in summer December summer now I have still this picture in my head of my childhood and Christmas markets and short days I think that's what is in my head like the picture for December it yeah from the last five years I started having pictures of beach and sun and barbecues in there so I'm in a bit of a confusing (laughs) stage but still I find it so weird to have Christmas and summer yeah I don't know I think the cool thing is that for example, for New Year's, it is warm, it is light, like you can have like a party outside, which is really cool. Whereas in Germany, it's cold and freezing and sometimes you just don't want to go out when it's midnight. <laughs> anyway, can't believe it's the end of the year, but I thought this is the perfect time for this episode and I'm going to share a step-by-step guide for your future self, for 2024, 2025, 2026, um, for your future self. I want to use this episode to make it more interacting or make this an, act- an action actionable, is that how you say it? Actionable episode. So if you're on a walk right now or listening while you're doing something, that's fine. You can always come back to this episode and do it again. I'm going to ask you some questions. You can grab your journal and notebook and write these things down or just simply listen for now. Just reflect um, if you're like driving. Yeah, just use that as like a little exercise while you're driving, but focus on the road. <laughs> um, yeah, so... What I want to reflect on in this episode is the last year. Surprise! Um, And question that I want to ask you now at the start is, or that I want you to ask yourself is, am I moving in the direction I want to go? Am I becoming the person I want to be? Am I taking action and steps that will bring me to that person that I want to be or am I contracting avoiding running away from the future that I actually want am I avoiding certain things I am sure of and know will bring me to that future version that I so desperately want to be but am I avoiding certain steps in between am I not making this possible for me so these are one of many questions that i'm going to ask you in this episode and that will help you to make your future self possible that will help you to take action that will help you to make this life that you so desperately or so fully from your heart want for you so first of all I want you to check your energy when you think about the future. I know that sometimes we might feel like the future is just so far away and sometimes we might have some doubts that it's really going to happen. But I just want you to be aware of your energy when you're thinking that. Because if you think of, oh, this is never going to happen. It has taken so long. I'm never going to make this like possible. This energy 
won't bring you the future that you so desperately and so unbelievably want because this energy is so low so negative low vibration and it will just not make it happen everything that you create out there starts from within everything you create out there starts with your thought it starts with your energy if you tell yourself it's never going to happen and if you're doubting yourself that is this thought that <laughs> That is the thought that you plant into your mind and that will create your reality. If you, on the other side, say, I know this future is out there for me. I can feel how I am becoming the person more and more that I want to be. I know that I'm taking the right steps towards the person I want to be. I know that I'm on the right path. You can see how this energy is shifting and you at this thought into your mind you plant the seed into your mind and you will create your reality out of these thoughts and with planting those seeds like those thoughts into your mind planting I just like the word planting because you can picture it like planting a seed plant, planting a new flower whatever it is um you will make decision based on that you will make decision based on what you believe is possible so you got to believe in yourself you got to believe that this is possible because it is the only person that is stopping you from some from achieving something is yourself so the first journal prompt that i want you to think about and write down if you are if you can't write it down right now come back to this episode anytime then just think about it now but the first journal prompt is in the last 12 months, go back to this day exactly like one year ago, like 12 months ago from today. I'm recording this episode on the 6th of December. So for me, I would have to go back to the 6th of December. But whenever you're listening to this, go back to the exact date one year ago. So yeah, I want you to think of what have you changed? Have you changed your routine, little habits during your day? In the last 12 months, have you changed your surroundings, who you spend time with, who you surround yourself with, interests you followed in the last 12 months? Um, little things, even listening to podcasts regularly or starting a routine changing at least one thing during your week what is something that has changed in the last year have you invested in yourself have you invested in your health have you invested in your personal growth have you signed up for any coaching calls or have you signed up for a new gym class whatever it is what is something you've done differently in the last year once you thought about these things write them down write down at least yeah 12 things that you've done differently the last 12 months things that you have changed over the last 12 months this can start from easy things like drinking more water a day taking vitamins taking um, supplements yeah like i just said investing in yourself in your growth in your fitness health whatever it is think about these things and write them down the next thing i want you to do is to read those things again and to feel how proud you are you can see that in the last 12 months you already have shifted into a new version of yourself you are a new and different version today than you've been 12 months ago you have changed things in your routine in the last 12 months and you can be so incredibly incredibly proud of yourself now the next step is to feel your future self and all that she or he achieved. Take a deep breath in through your nose, drop your shoulders and breathe out and relax. How does your life look like 12 months from now? 
What does your future vision do? Daily, weekly, monthly. How does she show up or he? How do you present yourselves? Who is in your life? What does your finances look like? Really think about that future version of you and feel what your future version is doing, is experiencing. How are you holding yourself? What are you celebrating one year from now? Think about all the things you've achieved one year from now. Looking back, you're like exactly at where you are today, one year in the future. What are you looking back on? Like, what are you celebrating? So what we've done now is we reflected on the last 12 months and we are now picturing and visualizing the next 12 months and you are visualizing you being here on the 6th of December or depending on when you're listening to this obviously 2024. Think about all the things you achieved, the people you've met along the way, the people you let into your life, the the things you achieved and now I want you to write down 12 things that you are grateful for. I'm going to share some examples how you can start these sentences. You can start with, I am so proud of myself for, I'm so happy that, I am so grateful that, isn't it great that, isn't it wonderful that, I am celebrating that. So as you can hear, this is all in present tense because I want you to feel this is happening. It is so important when you write positive affirmation, affirmations to act as if I am so proud of myself for investing in myself. I am so happy that I found people that are encouraging me to be my most authentic authentic self I'm so grateful that I am working on myself every day that I'm working out every day if that's something you want to do in the future if that's what your future version does isn't it amazing that I have this opportunity to do public speaking in schools for example if that is your goal isn't it amazing that I have the chance to talk to people about living their best life that's for example something that I'm doing and I want to do more of isn't it wonderful that I have people around me that support me and are there for me if your goal is to have a relationship if you want to attract a relationship into your life a boyfriend girlfriend you could write something like isn't it amazing that I have a partner who understands me and is there for me maybe you realize already by listening but saying these affirmations and acting as if all this is already true you're shifting your energy you're shifting your mindset so so much and then your reality will shift because once you know that this is possible once you visualize this happening and feeling this happening feeling grateful for the friends you have around you being proud of yourself for things you achieved you are already shifting so so much you're shifting the direction you're going because you're believing in yourself with these affirmations it's so important that they sound that they make sense to you that they sound logical to you because if they don't sound logical to you you will have like this resistance inside you so when you write affirmations like i am so proud of myself for i am so happy that i am so grateful that all like the second part has to make sense to you and has to be logical for you So yeah, I invite you to write 12 things for the next year that are going to happen in the next year that you want to attract and say them out loud. Maybe put them next to your bed on a piece of paper or in your notebook and read them before you go to sleep because 
the time before you fall asleep is so important it's like that time when your conscious mind switches off but your subconscious mind are still there so if this is the last thing you're reading before you go to sleep you will manifest it even more picture this you're scrolling through social media oh, picture this instead you're scrolling through social media just before you go to sleep and the last thing you see is a random video of i don't know things that don't even interest you or some tutorial or a makeup review or someone i don't know sharing some bad news whatever like this is literally bad energy or like energy that's not getting you anywhere thoughts that are not getting you anywhere and if you have that as your last thing before you fall asleep you don't know how much is going into your subconscious mind and how much you're still thinking about things that you're actually not even aware of thinking about if you want to learn more about how your mind works and how you can make your dream life happen i decided to offer another group coaching in february 2024 and you can sign up now so this new group coaching is called mindful evolution building your best self from within and you know what the cool thing is for anyone who hasn't joined the aligned life mastery in either august or october you can now sign up for the mindful evolution and also at the aligned life mastery coaching on top which are recordings of the Aligned Life Mastery. And those two together, I call them the Mindset Code. So you have the group coaching with me in February of the Mindful Evolution, building your best self from within. And if you sign up now, you can also sign up for the Aligned Life Mastery and watch the recordings preparing yourself for the mindful evolution but you don't need the one like the light life mastery to join the mindful evolution but i just thought i offer this as a package so you have eight videos in total to make your dream life happen you can find all the details in the show notes i'm gonna put a link in there and you can sign up for the mindful evolution this is gonna be an evolution and i can't wait to connect with you and help you to become the best version and start from within well that does it for this episode thank you guys so much for listening and tuning in today if you like this episode and don't want to miss any new ones make sure you hit the subscribe button feel free to share it with your friends or on social media it really means a lot to me it will help me to create this podcast you can find me on instagram johanna underscore liana i'm always happy to connect so flip me a message if you want enjoy the rest of your day and always remember it's a beautiful day to have a good day it's a beautiful day to be alive